And we should talk about this waveforms per second thing, because our Agile likes to hit on this, and so does tech, because we're at 8,000 waveforms per second, and we're at 8,000 waveforms per second on that. But they, so they claim anywhere from 35,000 waveforms per second, up and all competitors, uh, considering all competitors, the maximum of, of those guys is 100,000 waveforms per second. And so, uh, they like to hit on that because they're saying, hey, the time, the, you're going to miss data, but with LaCroix, because they're only 8,000 or, 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 you know, whatever I said just a minute ago. But, but really my point is, is, is it's the amount of data in between triggered displays that you lose on every scope is, is, the amount of data is huge. So, if you're working with slow clock rates of 100K to 400 kilohertz, then they have a valid argument. Who's working with those nowadays? They're in the millions, 1 meg, 10 meg, 100 meg, and faster clock rates. So you're only, capt you're only capturing, you're going to miss 97% of the data at even 100,000 waveforms per second with those faster clock rates. Who cares? The bottom line is you're going to miss a, a lot of data between triggers even with this. Why are you picking on LaCroix that way? Why don't you say, what is it about finding things that I did capture that is, that's important. That's where WaveScan comes in, where there are no tools on the marketplace that do that. So let's get the attention away from waveforms for a second because all scopes are slow, even at 100,000 waveforms per second. You're going to miss a lot of data. But when you do capture data, capture a long memory. Use your full memory. That way there's no dead time. You're getting it all, right? And then go through that data with the right tools that help you identify every feature, make measurements on every occurrence of it, and find things like what are the worst measurements that are in this data stream? What are the best? Can I set a trigger on it now that I can see it with WaveScan? And now I have a software trigger that complements a hardware trigger, right? So anyway, those are tools that, you know, this waveforms per second is FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt by our competitors. Sure. I can't blame them. But the story is all scopes miss a lot of data in between triggers, whether it's, you know, 8 to 100,000 waveforms per second. It's what do you do with the data, and can you find things that you weren't expecting easily? That's where LaCroix shines.